Hi everyone, my name is Jade A. Martin, also known as Jade Alexis. One piece of technology that has definitely evolved will be the evolution of laptops, but specifically the Apple MacBook. Saturday, September 20th, 1989, Apple presented the Macintosh computer. This invention was the first portable computer ever. Since the resources we have now did not exist back then, the usage of typewriters and encyclopedias was still also needed. 28 years later and the Apple laptop is totally different. The price for a Macintosh computer was about $6,500 compared to now where the newest MacBook's highest price is $2,800. The weight is a huge difference too. It went from 16 pound Macintosh to a 3 or 4 pound MacBook Pro. Besides the simple things, a huge recognition for the innovations would be the specific features. Not only is there a touchpad, but also a touch bar that has a touch ID, FaceTime camera, colored LED backlight display, microphone speakers, and unlike the Macintosh, it can be activated without being plugged by a charger and a wall outlet. Apple being Apple impacts media as a whole. A MacBook impacts the internet and communications altogether. Examples with the medium internet will be Google and Siri. Due to the internet access in the MacBook, we are able to search just about anything. Just like any other Apple product, Siri is activated in it. With Siri, you can ask any question and get an answer within a second just by pressing one button. I don't have an iPhone, so this is basically my only way of using Siri. The two examples of the medium communication will be FaceTime and Messages. These are also used on the laptop. You don't have to download a program or use email to message simple things. Both apps are manually installed. With Messages, it's as if you're texting through a computer without the need of a cell phone. Apple MacBook's overall impact is towards education, its competition in business, and its generation. A MacBook is now often used for education. Blogger MacDaddy says that Steve Jobs made the MacBook to be designed with education in mind. A computer lab is no longer filled with the huge computers that have a large back and makes a lot of noise as you turn it on. MacBook Pros are often used in elementary schools through college. My school, Full Sail University, used MacBooks as our main technology to connect with each other. A MacBook also takes over the usage of textbooks in a way that MacBook makes it easier for students because they don't have to worry about carrying or keeping up with the different books for each class or course. Competition in business as a whole is impacted by technology. It is said that without a MacBook, there would have been no iPad nor iPhone. Each are made as a smaller handheld version of the Mac. When it comes to competition, the structure of any Microsoft and Chrome laptops are similar to that of MacBook. It's actually funny how Apple gave birth to Microsoft Office, who is often their competitors. The main impact of the innovation is with this generation or era. This generation is basically in centered around social media. Instead of having only the apps or cellular devices, you can also look on social media from the internet. We are in a time where we rarely use the hardcover books for encyclopedias or even dictionaries. I'm in my early 20s and never use an actual hardcover encyclopedia. The MacBook is also very beneficial for creative arts, whether video editing, 3D graphics, or gaming. Just think about it. 28 years ago, there was no MacBook but a Macintosh portable computer. The first to be exact. The innovation since has had miraculous outcomes. These innovations have impacted education by being throughout grades, their competition or business, in which the upgrades urge the competition to make similar upgrades, and this generation of error because it's our primary source of knowledge. And the media that's impacted by the MacBook innovations are internet with usage of Siri and Google and communications due to the manual installed apps of FaceTime and messages. Now, imagine where Apple MacBooks will be in 28 more years. Thank you.